Hey everybody, Mark Ignis here again in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back to another brand new episode of Guitar of the Day. Oh man, we got some fun stuff just came in. It's going to be fun. Uh, also, just want to give you guys a heads up because it is a lot of you are starting your 4th of July weekend. Um, we will be closed on uh, the 4th on Wednesday. Um, so there will be no Guitar of the Day on Wednesday. Because America. Um, I didn't know this. You didn't know that? No. <laughs> they were closed on the 4th. Oh. Look at that. Okay. A day off. <laughs> yeah. Day off. Cool. Uh, I got to throw a couple of shout outs out uh, real quick. Uh, to uh, First off, to, to Doran uh, Ayers, uh, who was in yesterday, got that SG. I hope you're at home having fun with that uh, SG standard, the one we did last Saturday. Uh, he was having a lot of fun with it in the store. I'm sure he's having some fun with it at home. Congratulations on picking that up. Also, Jen, you wanted to shout out to Cardi B? Oh, yeah. What up, Cardi? She's about to have a baby soon. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, that's great news. It's Flat Top Friday. But I got something really cool instead. It's Flying V Friday. Woo! It's rad. It's Karina. Come on back. Oh, from 1981. This is one of the very, very early Gibson Heritage Karina Flying V reissues. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Original hang tags and owner's manual, too. Oh, yeah. Let me get that real quick. Oh, yeah. God, I want one so bad. I like the pink, too. Yeah, the case is pretty sweet. Um... Here's the uh, here's the thing. Uh, we had a uh, we had one of these. Remember we did the uh, Modern like two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Someone tied this string around the thing here. Um, we had that Modern. I got that Modern with a flying V, and we sold the flying V so fast we didn't have a chance to do it. And then the Modern sold as well. I just got a whole set V Modern and uh, Explore. And the Modern's already gone. So, don't worry, we don't have a duplicate episode there, but I fear we gotta do the V. It's Flying V Friday. Um, this is early. So, let's talk about the Heritage Series guitars because um, these first start right at the early part of the 1980s. Like, 82 is kind of when they officially say, but this is 81. 81 is when they started shipping these. Um, so, Gibson's original futuristic designs from 1957, the V, the Explorer, and the Modern, which never officially went into production. All officially went back into production being made out of Karina right around uh, mid to late 1981. Um, that will be denoted by serial numbers uh, as well. This is an A serial number, um, fairly low A serial number. Bird's eye Karina, because wow. why not? Three piece, one, two, three. But two Tim Shaw. Humbuckers. I mean, we talked about a lot of this with the um, with the Modern, but this is kind of you know one of the most iconic electric guitars of all time. Even when you look at a kid and you say, "Hey, draw a guitar," they usually draw a flying V. I don't know why, because it's rad. That's why kids aren't <laughs> dumb. I always want a flying V. And I was like, "You sure you want a flying V?" I was like, oh, "I want a flying V." I want one of these is what I want. I want the whole set. I want to collect them all. Um, so uh, they only made 91 of these originally, the original Karina Flying Vs from like 58 and, and 59. So if, unless you have a few extra hundreds of thousands of dollars lying around, or there's even one available to buy, um, this is going to be the next best thing. So these run through the 1980s. Uh, the numbers, obviously, they're alphanumeric. I think I've seen up to like G serial numbers, you know, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I mean, they keep going. They do some in colors as well. They did some of these in black, some of them in white. I've even seen them in candy apple red. Usually those ones uh, are painted a solid color for a reason because they're hiding like a ton of seams in the Karina because there's just a finite amount of this wood for them to work with. So, you know, the ones that are two piece tops are always going to be the most desirable with just a center seam. Three piece would be next. And then some of the ones in the colors, they're just like a hodgepodge of a bunch of stuff stuck together. The Tim Shaw's we talked about, um, original brown case, got the owner's manual, got the original uh, airborne again, the flying V flies again, hang tag, uh, which is pretty sweet, uh, as well as the other little Gibson quality tag that was in the pocket of the case. 
Pretty sweet stuff. It's Flying V Friday. It's Karina. It's almost a holiday weekend. Let's go plug this guy in and see what it can do. All right, we're out front. We have the 1981 Gibson Heritage Karina Flying V reissue. Original natural Karina wood finish. Bird's eye Karina on this one too, Tim Shaw. Humbucking pickups. We're going through uh, the custom shop 64 custom deluxe reverb today. All EQs at new. Just a little bit of reverb. Uh, let's start up on that neck Tim Shaw pickup. All by itself. Let's see what we got going on down there. position uh, we are going to hear a combination those two Tim Shaw pickups working together let's see what it sounds like down there Tim Shaw all by itself. Let's see what we got going on down there. So I haven't tapped in a while, guys. Forgive me on that, but I thought I'd throw it in there anyway. It's Flying V Friday, man, from 1981. Original Heritage Karina reissue, one of the first of them. A serial number, Bird's Eye Karina, original hang tags, original warranty card, original Tim Shaw PAFs, original hard shell case. 
There's your Fly and Be Friday. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Mark Agnesi. Follow the store at Norman's Rare Guitars. And check this and the rest of these guitars out online at normansrareguitars.com. We have one final episode of Guitar of the Day for the week coming at you tomorrow. And we'll see you guys back here. Same time, same place. Have a great weekend. See you back tomorrow. Peace. Bye. Yeah. Tapping.